He was a Jamaican dude. I met. Son had one of the craziest cuts I ever saw in his face. Big, stupid bubble shit. Crazy bubble on his face. Now I mean? I'm like, damn, my nigga, you got that shit up north? He like, yeah. Nigga called me with a can. So I remember when they finally called me from Rikers Island to go upstate. Go up north with the big boys, you heard? Like I said, I was in adolescence. So in New York, you can be charged as an adult at 16 years old. In other places, dudes don't get sent to the big house until they 21. Some spots 18, but most places not 16. In New York State, you can go to a maxi max prison at 16 years old. And that law needs to be changed. That law was put into effect because of Willie Bostick. Leave a comment if you know who Willie Bostick is. Willie Bostick is considered the most dangerous inmate in the state of New York Corrections. That 16 year old law where you could be charged as an adult at 16 in New York, that law was put into effect because of him. Because at like 14, he did one of the most heinous crimes in the history of New York at the time. Like, killed some dude on a train, shot a mad time, tried to rob, he was a maniac at 14 years old, doing all type of crazy shit. Look up Willie Bostick. So basically, because of the shit he did in the streets of New York, they said enough is enough. We gotta start charging these dudes as adults for these crimes. So they changed the law. And since then, at 16 years old, you could be charged as an adult and sent to regular state prison and given life. You could get straight life at 16 years old in New York State. So in New York, it's different, you heard? 16 years old, you going to the Maxi Max with the grown 40 year old killers. So you act up in them streets, nigga, just let it be known. And it, you ain't going to no juvenile jail. You ain't going to no kid spot. You going to an adult prison, you heard? Even spots like Green, there's a lot of young motherfuckers there, adolescents there, but it's an adult prison. Because at 16, you are technically an adult in the eyes of the law in New York State. So on Rikers Island, you know, when you going up north, it's a big deal. Everybody coming up to you, yo, my nigga. Now I mean, be safe, we love you, you know what I mean? Niggas giving you pounds and hugs, you know what I mean? Niggas asking you for the shit that you can't take with you because you can't take shit but like your Bible. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas be writing all their phone numbers and addresses and shit like that in their little Bible because you can't. they can't take your Bible from you. You feel what I'm saying? So I remember them niggas took me to the pens to go up north. Like it was mad niggas in there. Mad niggas. I remember, I mean, I just remember coming in the pen, like 75% of the niggas that was in there was black niggas. I was like, damn. And the rest was Spanish niggas. I was like, damn, this shit crazy. You feel me? And I was a little kid. And you know, the island is always just at this time, they used to have adults in the four building too on the other side of the four building. Like, and I mean you will see adults sometimes, but they wasn't housed in the same houses that adolescence was housed in, but they was on the other side of the building. You feel me? So it was mad adults in there that was also going up north. You know me, I'm looking like the youngest nigga on the planet Earth. I'm the youngest looking dude out of everybody. Niggas is like, damn, shorty, you going up north? How much time you got? I'm like, yo, I got three to nine, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You know niggas was missing for me. Like, yo, you going, you going to be good, shorty. You going to be home in three years. Now, I mean, matter of fact, at the, like, you know, Rikers Island, a year is only eight months. So a lot of niggas who never been up north, they go up north thinking that up north is only eight months a year. I was one of those niggas. Yo, it's only eight months a year, right? Niggas like, nah, my nigga, up north is different. You understand what I'm saying? If them niggas could make you do 13 months out the year, they'll make you do 13. He was like, you got to do the whole 12. So now I'm like, damn, man, I thought I was only going to do eight months a year. Niggas is like, hell no, my nigga. But you know, niggas like, yo, you probably going to make your board. This is before Pataki came in office officially. You feel what I'm saying? When he Probably when he was just running. So boom, I mean, eventually that bus come get us, nigga. Dudes is going up north, all that wild shit and beef. Like, it'll still pop off in those pens going up north, but dudes be too busy worried about where they gonna go and where they gonna end up. You feel what I'm saying? What's gonna happen when they get to where they going, like? So, 
it be a different kind of energy when niggas is going up top like everybody be feeling brotherly like you feel what i'm saying we in this together niggas we getting on that motherfucking bus together that bus come take us to downstate them niggas lining everybody up putting the black box and the shackles on niggas with the box who i heard um i heard that box was invented by an inmate Leave a comment if you know some history about that. The black box that they lock around the handcuffs so that you can't break through the handcuffs. Nigga said an inmate invented that shit. So boom. Now I mean, like I said, they piling us up. They throwing them leg shackles on me. Like this is the first time I had them up north shackles on me. With them throw, they throw them shits on your ankles, around your waist, getting shackled like a like a murderer. You feel what I'm saying? Getting ready to go on that up north bus. So a few motherfuckers who done been up north before, they like, yo, if you got a violent crime, you gonna go to downstate most likely. If you got a non-violent drug case or something light like that, you gonna go to Ulster. It piled us on that bus and we thought we was going for a long ass ride. That shit wasn't long at all. Downstate was like hour away or something like that. Or well, that's what it seemed like when we pulled up. Cause when we pulled up, that shit was quick. I'm like, damn, that quick niggas take you from the city corrections to the state corrections in a, in a snap of a finger like that and once them niggas turn you on turn you over to downstate that shit different because when you come up in there you come up in downstate with your personal clothes from the island because on rikers island at the time you could wear all your personal clothes that's why it was so much cuttings and fights because niggas was coming in there with levers and you understand what I'm saying expensive shit fly shit bally's and wild shit back in the days and niggas was getting cut and stabbed for the for them clothes you feel me niggas was getting raw for them clothes that's why now they don't allow shit like that but in downstate at this time they let you come through with your shit like know what i mean they want you to come through with your shit so that they could strip you down so they could take your identity that shit is a psychological tactic it's psychological warfare they bring you in there you got your clothes your hairstyle is is your identity it what's it's what makes you you so they want you to come in there with your own personal style. You understand what I'm saying? Your swag, your type of sneakers that you was rocking. And they strip that shit from you, nigga, and you never see it again. And then they motherfucking shave all that hair off your head, throw you in the shower, throw that light shit on your head like you a fucking farm animal. You understand what I'm saying? And they put all y'all niggas in the same shit, state greens. If you don't order the right size and you don't know no better, niggas will give you mad tight shit. You be walking around with tight ass state greens. Soon as you come up top, is not a good look, my nigga. You don't want to go to the max jail with some tight state greens on. So they don't tell you nothing. They don't be like, yo, these shit's fit tight. You be like, yo, nah, wear 36 or whatever. Niggas give you a 36, nigga. That shit be skin tight like a 34. You feel me? Now you go into the max jail with the skin tight greens on looking sexy. It's not a good look. You feel what I'm saying? So basically, like I said, niggas strip you down to all that, cut your hair off. Now they put you in them greens, put a number on you. Now guess what? All y'all niggas look alike. So the psychological warfare that they playing is like this. You came in there, you supposed to be this, you supposed to be that. But here go this child molester, here go this rapist, here go this fucking crackhead. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all all the same motherfuckers. Y'all all in them state greens, y'all all got the same haircut, no, no hair on y'all face. Y'all all fucking farm animals. Going into the big farm, and you it's just like a farm. You going into the big farm, you're an animal on the farm, you produce your motherfucking whatever you produce, they get whatever they could get off you, and with a collection of all of the farm animals, they make a living. You understand what I'm saying? And a profit. So it's the same thing with the penitentiary. So after they finish doing all of that psychological shit to you and stripping you down and all of that, that shit damn near broke me down too. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna say damn near. Them niggas threw me in a cell and locked me in a cell after all of that shit, nigga. I had to shed a tear, my nigga. I'ma keep it real with you, bro, because I was humiliated. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they humiliate you with that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You feel humiliated standing there, no facial hair, no hair on your head. I got a big ass scar on the side of my head from when I bust my head open and was in a coma when I was a kid. That's coming in the life story i'm gonna tell y'all how all that shit went down like i said that shit is humiliating nigga i was sick to my stomach i was sick to my stomach i ain't know where the fuck i was going where i was at shit was crazy maxi max futuristic type jail that downstate is designed like that shit was fucking with my mind i was sick i was sick as a dog nigga know what i mean i wanted to go home nigga i wanted my mother real talk i was 17 i was 17 i had just turned i turned 17 in june you feel me like that this was like fucking uh November or some shit like that. You feel me? October or some shit like that. Feel what I'm saying? So I had just turned 17. I was a fucking kid, my nigga. All them cells and fucking wild ass, big ass police barking in niggas' ears. That shit was too adult like for me. You feel me? That shit had me fucked up. 
But anyway, them niggas end up sending us to our blocks. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And like I said, I was in the dorms on the island. I never went to the Bing on the island. I went to the box up north, but I never went to the Bing on the island. So when them niggas threw me in that motherfucking cell, that downstate cell for the first time, and closed that cell door, my nigga, shit hit different. Now I mean, I had never been in a cell house, that shit, when you ain't never been in a cell, my nigga, downstate ain't the, ain't the right cell you want to be in for the first time. That jail is motherfucking quiet time at 9 o'clock, mad strict, got a little slot on the side, got like a little hole you could pass like a milk or an apple through, and then there's a little slot where they could pass like, you know, like letters and shit through, it's not big, it's not big like that at all, you could fit like half your arm through it, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, when them niggas lock that cell and you hear that motherfucking uh, electric lock lock, and you know you in there, my nigga, it's a wrap. Now, I mean, them niggas threw me in that cell. I was stressed the fuck out, my nigga. I ain't know what jail I was going to go to. Nobody know what jail they going to go to yet because they classifying you to see which jail you going to go to. That was the entry day, my nigga. I'm laying down in my cell looking like a motherfucking a new draft in the army. In downstate, it'd be a lot of motherfuckers that be coming um, from up north to go back down to the island for other open cases they got. So they got to go back down the court of medical. So they'll put you in state greens and send you back down to downstate. One of the first niggas I saw that was a nigga from up north. He was a Jamaican dude I met. His son had one of the craziest cuts I ever saw in his face. Big, stupid, bubble, shit, crazy bubble on his face. Now I mean? I'm like, damn, my nigga, you got that shit up north? He like, yeah. Nigga caught me with a can top. I was like, what you mean? He's like, you can have cans. He said, I mean, if it's on, niggas would just open a can of beans or a can of tuna fish, bend that shit up like a, and hold it, make a knife out of it or something to cut. And niggas a cut. You said, this nigga caught me with a can top. Now, I mean, and his shit was gruesome. His bubble was so big, the shit looked like, I swear to you, it looked like a nigga took a snake and sewed it on his face. That's how thick and wide that shit was. Pause. You feel what I'm saying? But I saw that shit. I'm like, I'm like, damn, niggas taking niggas' heads off with motherfucking can tops up north? Shit dangerous up there.